Chocolate snob bars! What did I do now? Chocolate bloody butt nuts, that's what! They're nothing but a couple of reactionary stereotypes confirming the myth that everyone in Britain is a lovable, middle-class eccentric! And I hate them! It was a highly articulate outburst, Vivian. I only hope they're not watching. Well, you can just shut up, Vivian. You can just about blamming well shut up. Because if you've got anything horrid to say about Felicity Kendall, <laughs> you can just about blamming well say it to me first, all right? <laughs> Rick, Rick, I just did. Oh! Oh, you did, did you? Well, I've got a good mind to give you a lucky good punch on the bottom for what you just said. <laughs> You're talking about the woman I love. Yeah, and me, I love her too. <laughs> yes, well, I agree with the spotty twerps on that one. Felicity Kendall is sweetly pretty. Just what a real girl it should be. I mean, speaking as a feminist myself, I can, <laughs> see, I can safely say this. That Felicity Kendall is a wonderful woman, and I want to protect her. Well, it's the first time I've ever heard it called that. <laughs> Say something. Shut up, Vivian. That's my dad you're talking. <laughs> Did you see that episode where the pig was going to have a baby? Now, that was quite a promising idea. But it was all done so bloody nicely. We didn't see anything. Even the policeman was nice. <laughs> all right. Why shouldn't the police people train as nice occasionally? You trendy students always giving us a bad name. Well, you mean like big jobbies? Oh, right. <laughs> now you've really asked for it. <laughs> but let me assure you, I would not have done that to you if you'd been Felicity Kendall. God, are you all right? Uh, was that silly cow? She smashed the special balsa wood chair earlier on. Well, none of this would have happened if you'd been doing a nice programme like The Good Life. <laughs> right, that's where we'll put the row of cabbages. Okie dokie, Mikey, young son, follow me, lad. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we'll put the row of collies. Aha! Just wait one moment, Michael. <laughs> The timeless wonder of the English countryside. <laughs> Good grief, Christine. It'd be pretty bloody super to have a snog in a place like this. What do you think, Neil? Well, I don't feel like it, actually, really. <laughs> I've got a lot of work to do. Not with you, you sick pervy. <laughs> I meant with a pretty bloody super girly who's on for an amazing bit of rumpo and has it. <laughs> I've ploughed this bit, right? And now I'm going to sew it. <laughs> this self-sufficiency thing really is amazing, you know, Rick. Like, we sow the seed, right? Nature grows the seed. And then we eat the seed. And then, after that, we sow the seed. Nature grows the seed, and then we eat the seed. Right. And then after that again, we sow the seed. Nature grows Oh, shut the seed. up! Then shut then up! Eat. Shut up! It's pathetic! I mean, what about radical magazines? Hmm? What about kicker boots? Can we glue them? No, we can't, can we? The beauty of your plan, Neil, seems to rest on everybody being really into seeds. No, 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 Rick, you don't understand the timeless wonder of the whole thing. Right? I don't know. We... So the seed. <laughs> Nature grows the seed. Then we eat the seed. Then we... <laughs> right now, shut up. 